The war was two years old that Christmas. I was 11. Looking back, it's hard to distinguish one Christmas out of the handful of Decembers that mark the years of our youth. But that Christmas shines in my memory as vividly as the electric bubble lights and lead icicles on our Christmas tree that year. Not because I got Gene Autry six shooters complete with tooled leather holster, or that my daddy came home from his first leave as a soldier. These things left impressions, but I especially remember that Christmas Eve as when the Germans came. officially arrived. Oh, he guards a little fish and slim. It's nearly seven o'clock. I bought a first class ticket to make and I could have walked there by now. Well, sorry for the inconvenience, but you may have noticed. I that. know, I know there's a war on. I'm not touched in my head. And, uh, government trains get priority. That one's got to go first and we're already backed up as is. More delays? For what? A load of cattle? No, oh, ma'am. A load of Germans. Germans? In Georgia? Charlie, we're gonna have to put you on hold. Just got the heads up call from Augusta a while ago and we just ain't got enough engines to go around. Well, that's all right. They don't exactly have a welcoming committee waiting where they're going. And I need a cup of coffee. <laughs> Is Daddy's train gonna be late? Probably. About used up the gas coupons. It'd be foolish to go back home. Best way here. But Mama, I'm hungry. Oh, Scylla. Not now. Gordy, do you have any candy left over from that party today? But Mama... Just a piece? Please? Can't take the gum. Gordy, I'm gonna go call Granny and let her know we're gonna be late. You stay right there now, and watch Scylla. Millions of men the world over are gathered around their chaplain in camps, hospitals, and hospitals to hear again the story of the first Christmas.
knock off that racket. one of those artificial trees this year, since there's a wood shortage and all. It's uncivilized. I don't know. I kind of think it's pretty if you have enough of those lights and shiny things. Oh, well, we threw away all our old German ornaments. It was just the patriotic thing to do. And I sell these trees in my hardware store. All American made. Oh, so what is the hold-up now? Well, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. Guess who's out there under that car shed? Hitler's men. Hitler's men? My boy is over there, fighting them devils, and our government is sending Nazis over here? And one of them in my town. Nazis. They're rounding up people over there and just killing them. According to the papers. I declare, they'll be rationing pepper next. <laughs> it's outrageous. You can hardly buy sugar these days. When you go back over there, you get me a crowd. You hear me? I already had my taste of that. that we are at the mercy of the Nazis. <laughs> Do you think they are serving coffee on this train? Yeah, I can check with the porter. young man. Don't you think you ought to be out there protecting us? But don't you think they're sitting there plotting how to escape and slit our throats? Listen, where are you taking them? I don't want them in my town. Sir, ma'am, no offense, but have you seen these guys? Oh, Pharaoh's army's upon us and you're not going to do anything. like our time is perfect. You know, the USO is always a welcome sight, ladies. I think our sandwiches will be well received then. But you're gonna need more than that little basket full. They'll be delayed at least an hour. And when that other one comes, you better be prepared to feed an army. We only intended to give these out to those in the depot, and I don't think we brought enough to take care of those boys too. <sighs> I tell you what. There's a dining car with a full kitchen on board. You ladies have my permission to commandeer it. And I thought Santa Claus came with a big white beard. Oh. <laughs> well, might as well get these out to as far as they'll go. Come on, Patty. What you doing, Gordy? 
Priscilla, why'd you come out here? Because you're supposed to be watching me. Just wanted to see what they look like. See if they have horns like everybody says. Sprichst du nicht Englisch? Ein bisschen. Haben die Amis ein Andenken übersehen? Warum sollen die haben, was ich verdient habe? Hans, hier ist ein Bube. Hallo. I'm Hans. How do you call you? I guess you mean my name. I'm Gordy. That's my little sister, Scylla. Can you tell us where is here? I think it's a secret. Is this in the near for New York? Is it near to New York? New York? Oh no, that's way north. Nein, New York is nördlich. Way north. Ganz im Norden. Goody. Can you give some food, bitte? Yes, sir, I'll get right on it. Don't wait supper. They say the train from Macon is delayed. They're waiting on an engine. <sighs> Granny, now tell Esther Mayhew to stop calling people and scaring them. I mean, this place is crawling with soldiers guarding them. What do Nazis give you? It's candy. Little teddy bears. Eat one. They smell good. Reckon they're poison? Scylla, do you really think they'd be carrying around poison teddy bears just to give them to us? I got Krauts on boxcars scattered from Augusta to Warner Robins, and now they want them consolidated and transferred to passenger cars. Uh, something about a Geneva Convention. Well, you get me moving soon, and I'll get them down to Warner Robins a lot faster than we can transfer them. I know they're cold and all that, but they've been three weeks getting here, just a little bit longer. Besides, our troops come first, Liam. I, I told them everything we got's being used for our boys. I mean, it's Christmas Eve, for goodness sake. I have conferred with the leaders of Britain. I hope you Britain girls got United. another pot of coffee made. Always got one ready for you, Charlie. Oh, and Slim said that he just got a phone call from the Red Cross. The 7 o'clock troop train from Augusta is almost here. He wants y'all out there with bells on. Oh, those boys will be hungry and anxious to get home. How many sandwiches you got? Twelve dozen, and there's not enough food left in here to feed an ant. One year ago, 1,700,000 were serving overseas. Today, this figure has been more than doubled to 3,000,000. 
Guess the Lord will provide. On duty overseas. And my last one is overseas. Those are all his men. Out there. I don't know. I asked. You mean those Nazis? Africa Corps. Germany's finest. Weak tank crews, paratroopers. Some of our fellows in the hospital with me and Italy crossed paths with them. Reckon there'll be any sailors? I'd like to meet a sailor. I love that uniform. Stop thinking about uniforms and start dreaming up some sandwiches. We only got a half hour. Here's Daddy. What do you all need? Can we have two cups of hot chocolate? Child, I don't have any more ration stamps for sugar and, well, we're just worked to death right now. Well, who's it for? Some soldiers. They ain't got no money. Don't say ain't. They don't got no money. Is that so, Scylla? Now you bring those cups back now. Thank you, Miss Dottie. What do you reckon those youngins is up to? Two children? You stole from Miss Dottie. What would Jesus say, Gordy? Oh, be quiet, sir. You're supposed to give stuff to people at Christmas. Uh, thank you, Gordy. I will tell Father Christmas you've been a very good boy. Besides, Daddy may be in a boxcar sometime. Wouldn't you want somebody to feed him? Take those cups back to Miss Dottie. She'll have my head. Has anybody seen a little boy or girl? Oh, heaven help us. Those cowards. They've escaped and they've taken those children hostage. Oh, so like a... Is your father in the army? He's in the infantry. Are you... Were you in the infantry? I was a gunner on a panzer. You call it a tank? A tank? Gordy, you asked Santa Claus for a tank, didn't you? Was your father in Africa? I think he was in Texas. Good. I'm glad I did not shoot at him. Hans! Hans!
sometimes even enemies can be friends, yeah? Ich werde verrückt in diesem Wagen. Eingesperrt. Wie ich drei Tage lang. Mann, du gehst uns auf die Nerven. Immerhin ist hier mehr Platz als im Panzer. Sie werden uns wahrscheinlich als Zwangsarbeiter einsetzen und uns schuften lassen, ohne Essen, bis wir umfallen. Ich denke, die werden uns abschlagen. Wir glauben nicht, dass sie schlimmer sind als die Rosen. Die werden uns nicht prügeln. Nachdem wir den Petten so eingeheizt haben am Kasarinpass, glaubst du, dass die uns liebevoll und arm und küssen? Hey, die haben Weihnachtsbäume. Ich dachte nur, wir hätten die. Glaubst du, glaubst du, dass sie uns schlagen werden? Für uns ist der Krieg vorbei. Billy, welchen Tag haben wir heute? Es muss der Heiligabend sein. Glaubst du, dass sie... Denkst du, dass am Dorf Weihnachtsbäume haben? Wenn es nicht schon völlig zerstört ist. Hey, wisst ihr was? Gerade jetzt würde ich gerne in meiner warmen Küche sitzen. Und von dem Stollen essen, den meine Frau mal macht. Hör doch auf! Das kannst du hier nicht! Letztes Weihnachten saß ich mit meiner Panzerbesatzung in Tunesien. Wir dachten, dass wir den Krieg gewinnen werden. Vielleicht werden wir immer noch. Ich wäre jetzt gern zu Hause. Das ist Mitternacht. Sie werden wahrscheinlich alle in die Kirche zum Gottesdienst gehen. Ich vermisse den Schnee und Schlitten fahren mit meinem kleinen Bruder. Und du, Hans, was vermisst du am meisten? Meine Kinder, Weihnachten zu Hause. Und da vermisse ich am meisten das Singen. Ja. Stille Nacht, heilige Nacht. I can't wait to get back to my unit. This bum leg's not gonna keep me out of this fight. That's a spirit song. What is going on out there? Of the compass. The commander selected to lead the combined attack from these other points is General Dwight D. Eisenhower.
whatever feelings or philosophies any of us harbored a few minutes before were forever changed that night. We had come face to face with the enemy, and he had touched us in a way for which no one was prepared. And while hate and death and war raged across the world, we found a common ground in our hearts through something bigger than all of us. The true spirit of Christmas hung over that little depot in a powerful way, like that star the wise men saw. United in the celebration of a baby's birth, we came to give the world a message. Peace on earth, goodwill towards men. And though I only had a boy's understanding, I realize that the things we cherish the most become more precious when given away. Don't you think we could spare a little Christmas cheer for them, too? Well, I guess I could rustle up a couple of passenger cars to meet them in Macon. Americans this Christmas. Maybe a POW camp could be good for business. Government contracts. Cheap labor. soldiers I sent? Well, now, I thought I sent you three. Daddy, what's this? It's an iron cross. Gordy, where'd you get this? 
Hans gave it to him. See, he gave us teddy bears. Well, what is it? It's a German medal, son. It's given to German soldiers for acts of bravery. Give him that. What happened here tonight? Something like a miracle. The Lord sent us a reminder. In a most unexpected form. I never got to say goodbye to Hans. In return for my small kindness, he had given us our first gummy bears, his bravery, and the spirit of Christmas, because they were all he had to give. And I will always believe that metal was exchanged between us because we had the courage to trust one another, even during a war when it didn't make sense to. That night, between friend and foe, a soldier and a boy, war ended, and an understanding began. We ask that the comfort God's grace shall be granted to those who are sick and wounded, and to those who are prisoners of war in the hands of the enemy, waiting for the day when they will again be free. And we ask that God receive and cherish those who have given their lives. And Is that supposed to be Hans? Why'd they make him so scary? Hans wasn't scary at all. I guess they looked like Hans at first, sir, uh, but not so much anymore. God bless us all. Keep us strong in our faith that we fight for a better day for humankind here and everywhere.